Hi, I'm Claire from Simplistic Data, and this is the SD Review. And today we are going to talk about Blink. Now, I don't know about you, but I love a business card. And I have my own ones printed off. And as you can see, I love a QR code as well. So I've got loads of QR codes on the back that lead people to different things. But there are times when you don't have your um, business card with you or you've run out. And obviously, you might be wanting to do better for the environment. So having a cardboard or plastic or whatever a business card isn't for everybody. And so that's why I wanted to share with you the link. So Blink is a digital business card that you can have on your mobile phone. Um, it's great for the environment because it means you don't have to have a physically printed card. And it's great for uh, potential customers as well, because all they've got to do is scan your QR code um, that's on the app and it will add all of your contact information straight into their contacts on their mobile phone. And it can even tell you where you met, so you can keep an eye on where you're meeting people from a networking perspective and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and it, I, I really like it. I think it's really cool. Um, you can have more than one business card on the app. So um, for the free version, you can have two. And for the um, premier version, like the premium version, you can have five. <clears throat> and there's a widget available on your um, iPhone. I'm not sure about Android, but definitely for iPhone, where it makes it really quick and easy for you to access your QR code so somebody can just beep your phone and, and get your QR code. <clears throat> I don't know about Android because I don't use Android, so I would imagine that the, um, uh, the functionality is there, but it's worth having a look at, which is really cool. And you don't have to be a business owner to use it as well. You can use it for personal use as well. If you wanna you know, give your details to different people, if you're dating, for example, I don't know, you might want to, um, but yeah, then you can share your information quite quickly. Um, on the premium version, um, you could, like I say, you can have five cards and you can remove all the Blink branding and you can also add your logo into your QR code. So the free version, you can't, your, your QR code is just a normal QR code, but on the premium version, you can add your logo to the centre of it, which is quite pretty. Um, and there's different uh, uses for the pre uh, premium version. You have uh, the individuals which, um, like I say, allows you to do your five and is normal. And you've got business for teams as well. So that's charged monthly per user per card with a three card minimum and allows you to make unlimited cards for your entire team and export the information straight into your CRM system. So if you've got quite a big business, it's quite handy to have because then they can, um, you know, if they're out about with meetings, whatever, you can have a different card for each of your different people um, and any information you get goes straight into your CRM so you haven't got to come back and record it, which for salespeople is amazing because, you know, you don't want them to spend a lot of time doing admin, you want them to just get out there and do what they need to do. Um, you don't have to scan the QR code either on the app. You can elect to text it or to email it to uh, an individual if you'd rather. Um, and you can even copy it to your website as a link, which is really cool as well. And what I'll do is I'll add my, um, my QR code to the description of this video so that then you'll be able to add me to your contacts if you wish, um, if any of my products are of use to you or if you'd just like to have my information, it's up to you. Um, the business card in can include all of your social media links and um, you can put your web page on there, messaging apps like WhatsApp, that can go on there as well. Um, and you can also buy a near field communication technology card, so NFC for short. And what that is, it's like, you know, like with your bank card where you can like scan it, like tap it to pay. It's that kind of thing. So you can tap someone's phone and it will send all of the information through onto their phones. I mean, how cool is that? It's just like amazing, really. Um, so let's take a look at Blink in all its glory. Um, cards, and you can change the color of them. So this one, we're just gonna call main. You can edit your profile picture. You can edit your logo in here and all the different bits and pieces to make it easier. You can add accreditations. You have a where we met field. That's not switched on initially, but you switch it on and then it will record where you've met. You can reorder the different um, order for which you want your um, 
details to show. And at the bottom here, as you can see, there are different fields that you can add. So you can add phone numbers, emails, links, your address, your LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, your Calendly if you want people to book meetings with you, WhatsApp, Facebook. You've got um, Discord if you do a lot of, um, and Twitch if you do like uh, a lot of computer stuff, uh, like sharing for videos and whatnot, YouTube, all that sort of stuff. So it's quite easy to use, as you can see. There's quite a lot in there, but it is quite easy. You can also go into your contacts and these, every time you send your uh, QR code out, you'll be able to see any contacts that you have here, including where you met them. And this is how you can send it to different people. So you can scan it, as I said before, you can send it via a text message, you just put the, text, uh, the mobile number in, you can change your message. You can email it, so again, you just add the email address and again, change your message if you wish to. And then you can copy it if you wish to. So if you want to pot it somewhere else and link it anywhere else, you can do that. And if you press the little buttons, uh, the three dots at the top, you've obviously got different things here. We can save your QR code to your photos and that kind of stuff. So you can add it to different bits and pieces. In here, you have all the different things you can get. So you can get your NFC accessories, as I mentioned. You can get your Blink widget. You can get an Apple Watch um, app for your watch, obviously. Um, and you can manage your, your accounts and everything in here. So why would you use it? So as you know, I do have printed uh, business cards and I love my business cards because they're very tactile and they're nice. And some people like that. Um, and they're great when I go to networking meetings and I'm meeting people face to face and that sort of thing. I've got like, you know, raised text on it to make it tactile. Um, however, in this wonderful age where meetings don't have to be in person, but are still face to face, we're no longer physically in the same place. So um, this is a must have really to be able to share that information across to different people. It's also handy if you run out of business cards or if someone catches you on the fly. So say you're doing a little bit of shopping in Tesco's and you bump into somebody and you strike up a conversation. <clears throat> it's good to have that with you because everyone's usually got their phone with them. So it's always keeping it on you at all times. So all you need to do is whip out your phone and either get your contact to scan the QR code or to send them the link via a text or an email. Once you've created your cards, you can also go online by the desktop version of the app and you can create virtual backgrounds. And so this allows you to upload an image and to, or to use on the stock images. So they've got some nice stock images there and have your QR code added to it so that it becomes part of the image. Um, I'll add one that I've created in the comments so you can see exactly what that looks like. So it's really good if you're doing Facebook covers or LinkedIn covers, for example, and it allows it to be interactive then because someone could just get their phone and click your QR code and you've got it, like they can get it straight from, from there and everything goes straight into their uh, contact details, which is great. Doesn't integrate with anything because obviously it doesn't need to. So what are the positives? So from an environmental perspective, obviously, um, these are arguably better than uh, having physical stock and because they take, uh, you know, stock and energy to produce. Um, and also it saves you a little bit of money because for the free version, you won't really need anything more than that if you're, uh, you know, on your own kind of thing, like a sole trader like I am. Um, and if you decide to change your telephone number or your email address or anything like that, it's a lot quicker and easier to do that in there rather than having to have everything reprinted again. So it saves you a little bit of um, cash and it stops you from throwing away business cards that you don't need anymore and starting again. I also love that um, I've always got my card on me. You know, like everywhere I go, because I carry my phone everywhere, I've always got my business card with me. So um, sometimes you meet people in the most unlikeliest places and it's quite frustrating to not have a business card with you. So that takes care of that issue. Um, so from the negatives, uh, it's a little bit clunky, if I'm honest. Um, it's an easy to use interface, which is good, but it's not as fluid as I'd like, but that's just me being really picky, um, if I'm honest and I am quite picky with things like that. Um, and it's very basic, but then what, re what more really do you need to do for a business card? There's not really much you do need to do with it. So hmm, it's not really a negative, is it? So on the whole, this is a great little app to have in your arsenal sort of thing. And um, whether you use it for business or whether you just use it to make it quicker to give out your phone number, because maybe you do, I don't know. Um, the fact that the majority of it is free to use is awesome. And as I've mentioned before, it is better for the environment. So it's, it's quite a nice little app to have.
The link to download this on your desktop is in the description of this video. And for the apps, obviously, you need to just visit your app store to um, download it. So all you've got to do is search for Blink, and that's B-L-I-N-Q. OK, so enjoy having a play with it and I will see you next time.